Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be talking about one of those utility gatherers that you need on Aberration. Now, I'm not saying that you want one of these on Aberration. You will eventually reach a spot where you just go, you know what? I need this guy. I need this guy in my life, even though he's really ugly, he's really fugly, he's really messed up in the head, but you know what? They have the worst turning radius, and they are absolutely kind of amazing. Yeah, I know, I know, I said it. They suck, but they're cool. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they really, really are weird uh, little creatures, but you are absolutely going to need one. That's right, we're talking about... Roll rats. Yeah, these guys over here, the guys I normally call mole rats. Yeah, but these guys right here, they are one of the best gatherers in the game when it comes to wood. Yeah, you have the mammoth and you have the uh, beaver. And while the beaver and the mammoth are good, well, the mammoth is actually pretty dang great. But um, the beaver is good. But the roll rat, oh my gosh, this guy has 80% weight reduction on wood and fungal wood, which is something you absolutely need when it comes around to gathering stuff. Now, they're actually really, really easy to tame. They have, um, it's a passive tame, it's, uh, it, it's a little bit different. Um, and it's the same for all of the uh, um, platforms, for the consoles and for PC. So it's not really all that bad, and I will show you exactly how to do it. Now, if you're playing on single player and um, you're trying to do this, it might be a little bit harder. It all depends, because if you've been playing on your world, you've been playing on it for a while, and you've done a uh, um, Destroy Wild Dinos command, you're just a single command is all it takes you're going to be having a little bit of problems. Now, I will explain that here in just a few minutes. Now, um, which is why, it's actually one of the main reasons, um, combined with a few other ones, while, when I'm playing through on my regular server, on my regular playthrough, that I just refuse to do um, Destroy Wild Dinos. I'd rather go and I'd clear out an area instead of running any command like that because it messes up a little bit of uh, functionality of your game and you won't really notice it until, until it's time to actually go notice it. Yeah. All right, what I'm talking about is with the beehives. All right, so here, let's grab our Ravager, our handy-dandy little pocket uh, ferocious beast, and let's head out over here, because in order to tame one of these guys, one of the uh, um, beavers, or one of the uh, roll rats, or, you know, the wrinkled beavers, um, you need honey. Uh, because that is their kibble. Uh, and it's a complete passive tame, but it's a passive tame in a way that a lot of people aren't used to. Uh, so here, let me get out here, let me find a beehive, and let's see if we can grab some honey from it. Now, on Aberration, where the roll rats typically reside, Honey comes just on the ground, just about everywhere. You can find honey in all sorts of different places. Even though I'm having a terrible amount of luck right now finding it. All right, Mr. Bees, where are you at? All right, looking for some... Oh, uh, Ravagers, Ravagers, no thank you. No, 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 no. I don't want you. I want honey. All right, I'm going to go find some honey. And I'll bring you guys back as soon as I'm done finding honey. Because in order to tame a roll rat, you're going to need you to get your... Oh, I see one in the distance. Ha 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 ha! Yes! Suck it, beehive! Alright, now here's the problem that we're going to be encountering. Alright. This is not an active beehive. Alright. Now, if you've uh, done a dino wipe, um, the, the beehives stay. And... Oh, this might actually be an active one. Although I didn't hear her inside it. So, you might encounter some weird problems. Alright, so we're gonna get the debuff by gathering the honey. All right, so there's not an active bee. If there was an active bee in there, then it would be uh, um, coming towards us and then smacking us a little bit. Now, sometimes when you gather the honey on these guys, especially in single player, um, you will encounter a few issues, some problems. Sometimes the honey just, it'll say that the timer's going down, but it just won't. Um, that is because you did a dino wipe and you killed the queen bee inside. Sometimes it'll just keep going. It looks like this one might work. I'm not sure. Um, and then sometimes you just can't gather the honey out of them. It, it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, but if it's an active uh, queen bee in there with active honey, then it, it, you're not going to have any problems. But you are also going to have a bunch of uh, 
um, bees come out and charge your face and then start eating you and then go, hey, you know what? There's a guy that's trying to steal our honey. And then you're going to have to grab your pike and then stab them really hard and it's going to get really bad. All right, so yeah. Um, but also beehives and stuff like that. That's another reason why I don't um, generally do uh, dino wipes. Also, I like to uh, learn um, where all the dinos are on the map. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. All right, so now that we've got our honey, now we're going to go find a... Um, Oh, a roll rat. Any roll rat will do for uh, demonstration purposes because once you have the honey, take one, like I did, and put it down here on your zero slot. Now, these things, they don't um, last very long. They're going to spoil really, really fast. So you want to gather the honey after you found your uh, um, roll rat victim that you're going to be uh, feeding. All right, now these guys right here, generally out in the wild, they are passive. They'll just be wandering around, chilling out, doing their thing, you know, peacing out, just enjoying the wildlife. Oh, here is an invent one, right? And then they are generally pretty docile, but when they go underground, they will um, bring with them a little bit of gems when they come back. Now, one of the easiest ways to aggro them and to get them angry and then just have them chase you and try to eat your face, and they will eat your face. Oh, trust me. Roll rats will eat your face, especially if you're on the ground. Take one of their gems. Yeah, and when they come up, which is actually, um, if you uh, haven't got to the blue zone yet on Aberration, if you haven't got to the red zone yet on Aberration, that is one of the only ways that you can farm those gems without getting down there, is looking at the stuff that these guys bring up. Because here, watch this. When he comes back up, he's going to drag some gems with him. See? They're going to drop on the ground. Now, if we picked up one of those, he'd be angry and he would definitely try to eat our face. And then this one over here would aggro and he'd try to eat our face as well. What level are you? You're level 20. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. We'll grab the pink one. The pink one is the only one we need. All right, and this honey is already starting to spoil. So I'm going to wait till this guy lowers down a little bit. When he goes back underground, not only is he going to grab gems, but that's the time when you get to feed him. Now, also, if you're on PC and you're playing on um, a public server, you can claim this tame on these guys by just throwing a piece of honey out in front of him while he's out walking like this. And then it'll be like, hey, this dude is in the process of being tamed and nobody else can come up and tame him. Um, I think that might only be for PC. I'm not sure. I just know that you can claim the tame. But as soon as he enters combat or anything like that, that gets wiped and he goes back to being able to be tamed by everybody. See, now, now that he's gone, we're going to throw that honey. We're just going to... Well, that was quick. We're just going to throw that honey down on the ground and then he's going to eat it. Oh, that's because you're only level 10. So, um... Yeah, that's the easiest way of taming... Well, that is the way that you tame the roll rats. They're really, really effective, though. And they do have a few little bits and bobs going on with them. You know, I'm going to take you and I'm going to put you inside of one of these cryo orbs because the cryo orb is a thing that I kind of want to have you in right now. All right, now these guys, once they are tamed, they just they will just eat berries and stuff like that. All right, now um, the, uh, the saddle for these guys, it's... It's a little bit more challenging than some people are used to, especially since it has a, 50, a level 58 uh, um, level requirement, so you would expect it to be slightly easy. It's not. 85 cementing paste, 150 fiber, 45 gems, 270 hide, and 425 metal. It's not cheap. Now, also, unlike every other dino in the game um, that has a permanent saddle, once you craft the saddle, bang, done, zip, boom, you're done. You're not get, you don't have to craft a saddle unless you lose said saddle. That's not true when it comes to roll rats, but that's also because because roll rats have a certain a certain ability set that no other dino in the game has. And now here we'll get up to ours, and then I'll bring you back, and then we'll discuss that. All right. So once you have your saddle crafted, you have your little dude. This is the way they're gonna look, just like Don Knotts here. Now Don Knotts was actually a really high level one when I tamed him, but. Uh, your mileage may vary, all depends. But if you w are going out for these guys, um, sometimes I will actually say, you know, um, either go super large or go super small on dinos, like Dodicruses. If you're going to tame a Dodicrus, you um, it, you can either go super low level, so it's just a fast, quick tame. You can get like three of them. You can set them out next to some rocks, and then they can farm a bunch of stuff. Um, with uh, like Ankies, same concept. Um, but, you know, generally the higher level ones are the better. And you can go out and you can actually ride them and then farm them and um, farm on them and grab a whole bunch of resources. With roll rats, I would specifically say go as high as you possibly can. And then from my experience, especially with this playthrough, roll rats are generally the highest. Um, they, they generally tend towards the higher levels from what I've seen. Um, 
at least the the vast percentage of them um comparatively to the other dinosaurs on a regular story mode server because if you're on like rag and valgaro the um level weight is always to the higher bits you will always find higher level dinos on um Oh, Ragnarok and Valgaro than you will on the island, Scorched Earth, um, Aberration, and Extinction. But, from what I've seen, Roll Rats kind of fall in the middle of that. Um, you'll, I, I've had a higher, a better, a higher chance of being able to find higher level Roll Rats on just regular Aberration playthroughs. Your mileage may vary, but that's been my experience so far. Alright, so now that you have these guys, now that we've got this guy out like this, let's get out of K-Mode, and then... Um, their left click attack is pretty much just that. It's just a bite. And that's how you that's how you're gonna be farming the majority of your wood. See, one smack, 292. We green some mushrooms, all sorts of stuff. The mushrooms is because that was fungal wood. Either that or I smacked up a let's find one over here that does not have any fungus around it. And then let's eat that tree to see if we gain some mushrooms. I'm pretty sure that it was because it was a fungal tree. No, we just gained thatch. Never mind, it was a it was a mushroom batch. All right, but yeah, these guys, they will harvest berries super easy, super fast, and they will harvest the mushrooms on the ground super easy, super fast, and they will also gather up so much wood for you. It, the amount of wood these guys gather, it's you, you seriously cannot pass on it when it comes to aberration, because when it comes to aberration, you're going to be making all sorts of different things, the cliff platforms, uh, the foundations, all sorts of everything, and it all requires wood, lots of wood. And so these guys combined with a Dodicarus, and you're set for your base. But they also have this super slow turning radius. It is bad. So these, I would most of the times, even on you know certain dinos, I would say you know that's a decent dino, even if you want to level it up to be your um, buddy and then um, have it level up with you. Not these guys. I, I would stay clear of these guys if you wanted to just be your regular dino. Um, but. I don't know, your experience may vary. You may just like your roll rat so much that it becomes your regular dino. But these guys, they don't turn very well. And they um, they attack kind of slow. Yeah, they can take a beating. And yeah, they can dish out some damage. But it, it, it's, it's kind of lacking when it compares to, like, say, a Ravager pack or something like that. All right, but another um, ability these guys have, all right, is their right-click attack. Now, the right-click attack is really unique because... It rolls them up into their saddle, and you can spin around, and their turning is actually a lot quicker. Um, when you uh, do the turn, when you get really, really used to it, and then you stop, and then all of a sudden you're going, oh, this is super slow. The only downside with this is when you smack rocks and you smack uh, wood, you don't keep those resources. That's all just dead resources. It kind of just falls on the ground, and it just poops out, and it says, hey, you know what? You destroyed me. I'm not giving you crap. And yeah, that's pretty much what it does. All right, but... Um, this attack, if you're, now, I'm talking to the PvP players who are watching this. If you are on PvP, and you, uh, need to demolish a wood base or a stone base, <laughs> roll rats will make it gone, like, there's no, like, yeah, it, it's, it'll just make that base gone. It's one of the quickest ways of destroying those structures in the game. It is, uh, in, quite insane just how fast these guys will tear through stone and wood structures. It's really impressive. And then that, well, anything will destroy that fast. So, yeah, these guys are pretty much your go-to with that. But, also, their saddle does take durability damage. And it takes it actually, I mean, it used to take it a lot faster than it does now. They kind of nerfed it. Um, well, they actually kind of buffed it, actually. It doesn't drain nearly as fast, but here, let me show you. It's at 449 right now. Now, let's go tear up some stuff here really quick. Here, just this little bit. Here, let's get... Oh, hold, unstuck. And let's cycle around through... Without jumping up. No, don't jump off the edge. All right, without jumping off the edge. And then let's open back our, our inventory. All right, now we're at 447. Just from that little bit. So it goes pretty quick. Um, not as quick as it used to, like I said. But if you're not paying attention to it and you're just cruising around the map... Yeah, your saddle's gonna end up getting beat up pretty bad, and then you're gonna have to repair it eventually. So just keep an eye on that. These are the only dinos in the game currently um, that does not have or that um, does not have a 100% permanent saddle. So yeah, that's a thing that you're definitely gonna need to um, pay attention to. 
But for the most part, though, that is everything there is to the roll rat. There's a lot of cool stuff to the roll rat. Yeah, they have the 80% weight reduction. They have the um, roll attack, um, and it'll destroy so much stuff. Plus, they also, if you're going to be out gathering up fungal wood, you need one of these guys. And then also one of the best ways for farming is if you are going out on a big, long farming excursion, take one of these guys... And then take a Ravager pack between like three and five because Ravagers also have weight reduction on all their stuff. And then take a Dodickers like in a Cryopod or something like that, you know, and then just have the Rav ride the Ravager pack, get to the spot where you're farming, farm up all the stuff on the Roll Rat, disperse it among the Ravager packs or they're not uh, um, over encumbered, then fill back up the um, Roll Rat and you just made yourself several thousand wood. It is really impressive and you can do that in a matter of minutes. Yeah. The only, the longest part is dispersing everything among your Ravager pack. It's pretty cool. All right, so hey, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I know this one was kind of short, but yeah, when it comes to the Roll Rat, it's just short and sweet. These guys are actually really cool. All right, so hey, if you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.